Jack Sports Television, I'm Brian Lyle, Damian Bell, and that's Pat Donovan. We're talking about hot topics right now, and the topic of hand is Terrell Owens. Okay, Terrell Owens, and we talked a little bit about Oz again. Here's my last take on T.O. and why I'm so sick and tired of certain guys constantly trying to bash him. Okay, first off, you talked about him being bipolar. I believe well, it. The bipolar guys are the guys that are the stars. Mike Tyson's bipolar. There's a reason why he's a cash register. He doesn't even fight today, and he's still making dollar-dollar bills. Okay, people like that. They like the train wreck. Money Mayweather. There's a reason why Mayweather can fight for $30 million and why he turns down fights that pay less than 15. People like that. If they don't, well, you don't like think it, he's they bipolar, do you? Okay. May, there's, there's Floyd Mayweather, then there's Money Mayweather. I've met Floyd. I don't but, believe but, Floyd but is, is, is bipolar thing. at all. There's two guys at, at, at uh, ESPN, and they're both very good receivers, okay? And one, I, I actually had a chance to see him play in person, but one was incredibly brilliant to watch Chris Carter. Chris Carter was a crackhead. Though. All he did was catch crackhead touchdowns. Crackhead Carter. He got kicked off his senior team at Ohio State. He was a crackhead coming into the league. Yeah, yeah. And he's a guy that was constantly yelling at people on the sideline, too. But now all of a sudden you want to trash T.O.? Why are you trying to trash T.O.? You're trying to act like your uh, slate was quote-unquote squeaky clean? Keyshawn. I'm a Keyshawn fan. Keyshawn got kicked off the team. Wrote a book about giving me the damn ball. I don't have a problem with that. Okay, I don't mind that at all. But now all of a sudden, you want to get mad at the guy that's playing the same game that you played, but he's playing it a little bit better than you played. Took the baton a little bit further than you took it. Are you that mad he's got his reality TV show? Do you want to get invited on it? Okay. I do. The fact of the matter is, Homie. there's a reason why their ratings are going down in the toilet. There's fact. Because people are sick and tired of seeing those guys constantly hate on Terrell Owens. He brings things to the table as a football player. Is it the T.O. of Philly? No. Is it the T.O. of San Francisco? No. But the guy competes, and I respect competitors, man. That's it with me and T.O. I know you guys want to talk about some other things, baseball included. Well, it's like this with me with T.O. You know, there's not much of a market for a 37-year-old wide receiver. Don't matter how good you are, how fast you run, how well you catch passes. So, you know, there's going to have to be some humility as to where, you know, I can pick my shot. I can pick which team I go to or where I get offers from. If one team comes calling and you're 37 years old, you better act like any other 37-year-old receiver. But why can't T.O.? Okay, I didn't mean to cut you off, but this. Why do other people are allowed to say, this guy's playing for the ring? When has anybody ever said Terrell, Ren, Terrell Owens is playing for the ring? Of course that's what he's playing for. Cincinnati, granted, they came out the blue last minute. That's a talented football team. What, Terrell Owens doesn't have the right to play for a ring? He doesn't have a right to do that? So, I mean, to me, it's just amazing nobody ever talks about that with T.O. You know, he constantly gets blown up on how he's tearing apart locker rooms. Didn't happen in Buffalo. Things were completely overblown in Dallas. That's, that's not the reason why they didn't win. If you go back to the, uh, that, their secondary, the safeties that couldn't make any tackles. Okay, they had defensive linemen that couldn't make any plays when they had to. And they had offensive linemen that couldn't block. It had nothing to do with T.O. And the fact of the matter is, Romo stunk up the place when they needed him to play when the pressure was tight. It's got nothing to do with T.O. Okay? You know, I didn't mean to cut you off, but it, it just bothered me. Well, it's like this with T.O. Now he's got to go to a team where he has to prove he can get a spot because he's not going in as the number one receiver like last year in Buffalo when they had Lee Evans. But we said, okay, you're T.O., so you be the number one guy. You know Chad's the number one guy in Cincinnati. He's not going to be the number two guy because you've already got four or five different receivers that played with Cincinnati last year, okay? And I know they're not going to rush to cut all of them. You know, Quan Cosby is a good special teams player. T.O.'s not going to play special teams. So who do you cut to make room for a guy that's rumored to blow up your locker room at any section, whether he's actually done it or not, okay? And that's the dilemma with the Bengals. They're taking more risk on their end than T.O. is with his uh, legend or his mouth or anything else that's going on. And the people that hate T.O. actually hate the fact that a guy can keep himself in shape that long and can knock young receivers, 10 years younger than him, out of a job because he's ready to go out there and win a job. Well, I'll tell you what, I honestly think it's a pretty low risk, high reward type of move for Cincinnati because they've got guys in place who can play if T.O. can't stick on that team. And you know what? I do believe T.O. comes in as the number two receiver. Maybe number three to Antonio Bryant, but I'm not sold on Antonio Bryant any more than I am on Terrell Owens. Uh, Antonio Bryant, you want to talk about head cases, here's a guy here in Tampa Bay last year acted like a knucklehead. So you know, they've, got, they, they've got knuckleheads over there already. To me, I look at a guy like Jordan Shipley as a guy they want to get on the field, though, because he's a talented kid. But I think outside of Ocho Cinco, Chad Owens, uh, Ch Chad Owens, Terrell Owens has every opportunity to be on the field just as much as any other receiver in that team. 
And you know what? I, I have to do this. I have to hijack the show for a second. We're talking about receivers. We're talking about receivers and, and where they're going and where they could be going. Well, there is a rumor that one Plexico Burris is about to get released from prison. And I just want to say to the New York football giants, bring him back, man. Just bring him back. The guy made a terrible mistake. He didn't hurt anybody. He's not a thug. He didn't go to shoot anybody. He shot himself for crying out loud, and he paid dearly for it. He paid a lot more for it than most people would. He was made an example of. Let's make an example <laughs> of giving him a second chance. Let's bring him back to the New York Football Giants. Go, Plexico! Bring him back! All right, all right. If it weren't for Roger Goodell, with his a hard line stance with the good boys in the NFL, Plexico could go right back to the Giants, but he forced the he Giants. Will. He forced the Giants to move on and act like Plexico was never there. You know, the Giants have spent the last two or three years drafting receivers that can step in and do whatever he's done. So Plexico's got to move on. He might have to go to the Jets. You know, he might have to go to the Patriots. He might have to go to the Eagles, but he can't go back to don't New York. Don't you say that. He, he can't go back don't to you, New don't York. Don't you do it, Plexico. Don't go to them Eagles. If Michael Vick, who is the face of his team in the league, can't go back to his team after he made his mistake, Plexico Michael can't go back Vick to New York. tortured animals and proved to be a scumbag. Plexico Burris made a mistake. Yeah, it, Michael Bloomberg, the mayor, is the one to put him in the slam. Okay, he's the one to put my, uh, Plexico Burris in, in, in the slam. So I do hope he goes back to the Giants. I, I, I really do. I you know, love it. He can't and I, go back. I, you say no, he can't go back? He can't go back because with Goodell, he's made a consistent stance where all of the guys that he branded as bad guys, they had to change teams. He didn't he, make anybody change teams. He, had, he just suspended them. They had to them. change teams because the team had to cut ties with him. Oh, we're glad he's gone. You'll have to learn. We wish. Yeah, I don't know if I agree Google. with you on that. I mean, Pat I, I, Man Jones. What, he built Tennessee's legend at defense at cornerback. They made him go. He's had to hop to three different teams since then. Tank Johnson was the man in Chicago. He's had to hop around team to team, team ever since he had his transgression. Tank Johnson was never the man. He was the man Tank in Chicago. Johnson was pretty good. Tommy Harris was the man in Chicago. Well, True. Tank John, they complimented each other on the inside. Tank like Johnson was very involved. good. I, it but was then, pretty but, good. But the I fact mean, is, Roger Goodell is not the one making these teams get rid of these players. What team is going to keep their man after Goodell said he can't play anymore? And then you got to still pay him for that. A lot of guys get suspended. Chris Henry was the only one that got to stay with his team and prove that he learned from his mistakes after Goodell put him on the side. And, you know, he, things ended up bad for him after he got hurt. But the point is, when you consistently force teams to cut ties with their star players when they have their problems. I don't think you can say that. I don't think it's you happened. can say look that. Look at it. Look, look at every Some teams bad have guy. done it, but I don't think you can say Roger Goodell made them do it. If yeah, you if you suspend he made good he made Michael Vick stay away from the team during training camp before there was any accusations on him before he went to court for anything he could have played that season. But you know my Arthur Arthur Blank was disgusted by the way Michael Vick lied to his face was disgusted by the fact that we found out lo Michael Vick was lower than a human being. <laughs> of course he didn't want okay. him anywhere near that team. Okay, was now, Arthur Blank didn't want him there. Not Goodell. Was Arthur Blank more disgusted than? The ownership with the Steelers was when they found out Ben Roethlisberger was allegedly doing his thing to humans. Hey, you know what? I, I don't know what Pittsburgh was thinking. I know the the word was they wanted to get rid of Ben Roethlisberger. Okay. Maybe they couldn't have. Okay. Um, but you know so what? So that should tell you right there. It, it's the same thing across the board. But why wouldn't they, if you're saying that Goodell makes these teams do this? Why didn't Goodell make the Pittsburgh Steelers cut Ben Roethlisberger? One, no conviction. No. Two, no proof. Three, the woman's story lost water every time you talked about it. And four, the only thing that's happened is this filthy rich man keeps making bad decisions in corners of the earth where he thinks he can get away with it. And until somebody calls him on it, it's going to keep happening. Because right now, there's nothing to say that Ben Roethlisberger has learned his lesson about chasing those girls in the offseason in Kennesaw Mountain Landers, Georgia, where he thinks he can get away with it. I mean, why else would you go there? You got Pittsburgh. You got mountains. Well, he's 30 work. minutes from Millersville. Okay. I mean, I'm not making an excuse for him. I don't know, if, though, if I can agree with you. I respect your opinion. I don't think Roger Goodell is strong-arming owners when they spend dollar yeah. bills on players. I mean, Pac-Man Jones had to go from Tennessee because he just – that was it. They gave him chance after chance after chance. Too many script clubs. And it didn't work out. You know, Tank Johnson in Chicago, it just didn't work out. I don't know. Maybe something's going on behind the scenes. I just don't see owners getting strong-armed – by the commissioner to cut ties. I, I just don't see that. 
Yeah, I have to agree with Brian. I, I don't think that it's the commissioner making the. I think the teams get fed up with giving guys opportunity after opportunity, and eventually they have to show them the door. But the fact is, the Plexico Burris did some things other than that incident that made the Giants wishy-washy on him anyways. But there's been a lot of talk about him in prison learning a lot. And believe me, I'm sure you would learn a lot in prison and becoming a different man and becoming a better person. And maybe the Giants do give him another shot. I hope somebody gives him a shot, as long as it's not in the NFC East. Don't be playing for those other three. But the fact of the matter is, I don't believe for one second that Roger Goodell is making teams cut players. I believe that these teams get to a point with a guy where they go, you know what, we can't have well, you around anymore. I got to dig deeper so I can bring it to you. Go home with this. Brian, Pat, Damien, Jack Sports TV, Vegas Showgirls, Ticket Stub, edit, 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 good night.